Welcome to a tutorial on GitHub. So what I want to start with is a concept in this video of what GitHub is and, and what version control allows for us to do as software engineers. Um, if, if you already are familiar with the concept, this is just going to be bird's eye view concept. You can go ahead and skip to the second video where we're going to move forward um, uh, with, with initializing GitHub. But if you're still here, Let's go ahead and talk about what GitHub is and what version control is. So software as a whole, we're building these software products, these digital products, right? So let's pretend we have, we have our software bundle right here of software. <clears throat> and this effectively can be our code. This can be our front end systems. This could be our back end. Uh, this could be, this could be anything, right? your HTML, your CSS, your, your JavaScript frameworks, at least, at least for me, I'm a web developer largely. So, so um, uh, you know, I'm gonna, gonna be talking about my React projects, my Vue projects, my Nuxt, uh, uh, anything like this. Next, uh, any, any sort of uh, full stack-esque projects or, or front-end or specifically back-end projects or JavaScript projects as a whole, TypeScript, Angular, uh, it, G GitHub isn't exclusive to these things, uh, whether you're doing a Python build or, or anything like this, but, but basically your software as a whole, however you build it, you're going to build it, uh, let's say, according to a certain date. And, and this date, uh, for me right now, it's, it's actually December 24th, day before Christmas, so, so Merry Christmas, everyone. But, uh, but, but let's say I, I make updates to my software today on, on December 24th, roughly at 12, 13 p.m. So... So these are going to be uh, updates that I made at 12, 13 p.m., right, of, of my, my software, whatever it might be. So, uh, for instance, I'm building a, a SaaS product called Team Sinker. There's, there's the Code Chronicles on, on Team Sinker. There's a whole journey of it. But, but the point I'm just trying to highlight is it, it, GitHub is non-exclusive. It's, it's, it, it's something that you could use across any software bits. And when I update Team Sinker, let's say today at 12, 13 uh, PM. Uh, there's also updates I made, let's say yesterday or, or even the day before. So 1223, and then I have no idea what time, but let's just say like 1 PM. And then there's, there's also updates in the past here. Let's say, um, you know, the day before that at maybe like 10 AM. Um, I'm, I'm working on it all the time. There's always updates, but, but the, the thing is, is there's different, um, versions of software of team sinker right and then and then there's always going to be different versions as well in the future right so let me say uh future versions future i'll just say future dot 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 how about that and that'll represent any future versions that we we update and add features to and then we also have the long line of of things like this right of, of previous updates of team sinker um uh let's say previous right dot 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 and and so on and so forth that that's going to go a lot lot farther back because i have i have very 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 many updates of team sinker but but for effectively of of this um uh, uh github concept overview right let me get an arrow here we are pointing at this version of team sinker today now let's say this version of team sinker has added features. Let's, uh, right now I'm working on a, a, a priority feature, right? A, a base priority feature. So I'll, so I'll, maybe I'll have a note under it, right? Base priority feature. Oops, priority wrong. Um, and, and that's what I added with this update was, was some sort of priority feature. And this one, this update, you know, a day ago, maybe, maybe the thing I worked on was the task card, right? The task card bug or something, right? Um, now, now these these are just comments. They're not relative to GitHub, but they're 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 comments that I can add because it's my project of Team Sinker, which which Team Sinker happens to be a project management system. For those um, unfamiliar with with my channel and and program and all that stuff, but here is my SaaS product. It's Team Sinker, um, and what it is, it's it's a project management system built from a software engineer's perspective. Right, I'm a software engineer and. Um, and these are some of the things that I wish I had in other projects. So, so I've gone ahead and just built out the features and things that I want um, part of a part of my my uh, uh, productivity flow. And this is the system that I came up with. So, um, so this is Team Seeker. This is this is the thing I'm referencing in all of this. 
Um, and there's these different features. There's these different cards. There's these different priority features. There, there's there's a ton of stuff going on. Um, and then, and all I wanted to reference here was was all of these these comments I'm la labeling underneath these versions of Team Sinker. They're, they're just relative to me. So your project, if you're building a to do list or something, you might you might have a to do list comment, right? Like to do list update bug or something, right? Um, so, so this this is not specific to GitHub. This is specific to me. Um, same with the name of the project; it's specific to me. Uh, but, but your project will be specific to you. Your comments will be specific to you and your GitHub repositories. And GitHub allows for us to manage these things very, very, very easily, and it bundles all of this up, all of this up, wh whichever version we're pointing at. You know, whether we want to work on this whether we want to work on this version of team sinker or or if you're working on a team you can or with a team with a partner let's say let's say i pick up a um a a partner you know and, and i ask my my friend uh a friend of mine I, I constantly reference in the series is chester he's an amazing amazing software engineer um let's let's say an, an amazing friend by the way but um let's say let's say he also wants to work on Team Singer and he has Chester's version, right? So Chester's version, right? And, and this would be called a branch is 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 what, what this would be. And then maybe this, this version would be main, right? So we have main. And then not only do we have Chester's version, but we could also have Ryan's version, which is me or Pag's version, right? So um, let me... Let me try to label this right, Ryan's version. Um, and this way, and this is this is a technique called branching in in GitHub, and and branching how it works is we have we have the same version of of let's say Team Sinker, but let's say Chester's working on a different bug. Maybe Chester's working on something else. Uh, let's say let's say one of the charts, one of those pie charts. So pie chart bug or 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 DevOps, Chester's much, much, uh, much more significant of an engineer than myself. So he'd be doing larger architecture things. So, so maybe he's doing DevOps or, or some sort of serverless functions, um, you know, so, something larger in scope. And then maybe, maybe I'm still working on, on a, a pie chart bug, right? And, and that way we can actually tell the, um, what's it called? We can actually tell the main branch to, or, or the deployed version of Team Seeker, because there's so many versions of it, we, right? We have one, two, three, four, five versions of it. We could tell the main branch to point at, uh, let's see if I can angle this arrow. I don't know if I can or can't. Looks like I can't, but um, we, could, we could actually tell the servers to host this version of Team Seeker to say, no, no, this is, this is the version of Team Seeker that we want you to host while Chester and I work on the next features or the next bugs. And let's say, let's say I get finished with my uh, uh, bug before Chester does, we can now do something called merging, right? So I can merge this pie chart bug fix into main, right? This is, this is what we would now swap to main. So, so call this the new main, if you will, right? And this would now be the team sinker version at 20 or 12, 20 p PM today. And um, and this this DevOps version would now go or or our our DevOps we could we could have it swap from this version to now this version. So uh, of course after testing, of course all, after everything, and then we could ultimately delete this branch because it's all these features are successfully merged into main. So I know it seems convoluted and a little bit uh, interesting. But but the reason why we have version control is because then, for instance, in this situation, Chester could still work on on um, you know this version of Team Sinker, right? And he's still fixing all these bugs, for instance, all all of his issues, and then he can actually merge his new version um, as well. Now he would have to do something called polling, so so he would pull from this new version, um, guys. And, and this is a little bit convoluted, right? Uh, but you, you you basically have a lot of a lot of functions with with GitHub that you could do, um, but but this would update Chester's version that he's working on in his laptop. So I wish there was a little laptop uh, uh, deal. So Chester 
takes this version down on his laptop and then he could work on this and then um, and then let's say, oh, another bug pops up or we need to add a new feature. And then, okay, well then I need to get back on and make a new branch. So then I can make a new branch called Ryan Ryan's branch, right? Or Ryan's version, right? And and then we'd update everything, right? So update this at 12, 21 p.m. it looks like. And I would pull from main. I would copy this down to my machine basically. And then I would start working on the bugs and features that I need. That way, this is all what Team Sinker is is shown to the public. The main version of it is the production build. But if Chester and I need to do branching or add bugs, or or if Chester's not working on this project and it's just me, and if I need to do branching and add fixes to these bugs and things like that, I could do it without breaking the main version of the application. So GitHub is really powerful at that, guys. And I kind of kind of went off a tangent because I wanted to highlight one thing that GitHub is doing. It's it's taking all of this process, what I just explained, all these pulls and pushes and merging domain. It's taking all of that and it's bundling all of that up. Let me get a, a new new block here. So it covers everything. And it's bundling all of these things up and it's calling this your repository. Your repo is what, what we call it, right? So your repository um, and this is your github repository and this is what what i could name so like team sinker repository um, and this is like your overall bird's eye view of of your repository and then of course there's other people with other repositories with their own versions of applications and their own uh complete completely different from team sinker so if i wanted to upload a new application let's say i want to build a, a new thing right this could be a completely new application over here, um, and maybe it's a to-do list instead of instead of Team Sinker being my uh, project management system. Maybe it's a to-do list, right? And boom, I have a repository for that. And under the hood, underneath what GitHub is doing is all of this again. Now, of course, for for a to-do list though, this time instead of um, instead of Team Sinker. But let's let's delete all that. Let's zoom back out, and then let's get back over to. Um, uh, I, I know that was kind of a lot, guys, but let's let's zoom back out and let's get back to the Team Sinker repository. Just one repository. So in GitHub, we want to initialize a repository, and uh, and then we want to start adding changes, or 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 start copying down versions of our of our Team Sinker code. Um, so let's do that. And and basically, we're going to ignore all of this, guys. Biggest thing to zoom out, or, or biggest takeaway from all of this, right? Let's uh, let's ignore all of this this noise. The biggest takeaway is we're basically going to start here and say, "Here's my first copy of my software." That's that's what we're whatever your software might be. That's where we're first going to start. We'll say, "Here's my first copy of my software at twelve twenty four twenty three. Uh, and then again, at whichever time it is. And, and we don't even have to declare all these dates and times. GitHub is so amazing. It'll actually take care of all of that for us. So we just have to uh, initialize the repository, which again is, is kind of the overall thing. And then, and then every time we, we basically copy and save and upload our, our software to the repository, It'll do all that connecting for us, all that, a lot of that branching and all that stuff. Now, now, not all of it. Some of it we will have to hand do, but but that's the biggest takeaway from all of this is, is basically we just start with my first copy, and then and then the second copy gets made, and then the third copy gets made, and then the fourth copy gets made. And this way, if you ever need to go back to any version, let's say let's say in this version of Chester and I working on the repository. And we deployed this new new version of, of Team Sinker. If we realized, oh, this is broken, and oh my gosh, there's so many issues and bugs with it, we can actually just roll it back, is what it's called. We could delete that version. And we're like, oh, we knew we knew that this version of, of Team Sinker was working great. So let's go back to this version. Um, likewise, if you have old code in old versions of your repository. You could actually go check out old versions and say, what what was that thing we added back on two days ago on Tuesday? What was that thing that we did? Forgive me, that was actually a Friday, but 
but I can always I could always go back and check out um, old old versions of the same software. So, in a nutshell, I, I know that's a lot of information if if you're unfamiliar with GitHub. But in a nutshell, we can we can basically let's just uh, kind of get back to what I wanted to show. The biggest takeaway, number one takeaway to take away from this is I have a copy one of my software. We're going to upload that, and then we're going to do a copy two of our software. We'll upload that, and then we'll do a copy three of our software. And this way, we have multiple copies, and then so on and so forth. And you can keep going as much as you would like. Yeah, let's, let's roll into episode two. I will see you on the next one.